What's up, everybody? Will Ohio State come out undefeated at the end of the 2023 season, at least the regular season? I'm saying no. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack from Buckeyes fans, but maybe you're with me. Maybe you're not. Let me know. Guys, my name is Shane Larson, also known as the Boise Buckeye. Welcome out to the channel. If this is your first time, what's up? This is Ohio State football with Scarlet and Great. I'm one of the three co-founders of the Scarlet and Great platform, which is Corey and Johnny. Um, as you guys know, this is Bucks and Brew or Buckeyes and Brew morning show on the Saturday morning. Hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying your time. If you guys want to grab a coffee and listen to some Buckeye talk, get some. If you're like me, don't drink coffee, but you drink a pre-workout in the morning. I've got a race. Uh, at 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time this morning. So we're going to be getting the weekend kicked off with a race. So grab a drink, Bucks and Brew with Ohio State Football with Scarlet and Great this morning. Guys, listen, we were doing a 6K, uh, 6K giveaway uh, before the Notre Dame game. So if you guys wouldn't mind, just hit us with that subscribe, You know, follow the channel, share it with any other friends or uh, fans of Ohio State. We'd like to, to do a giveaway for you guys if we hit 6K by the Notre Dame game. So we've got about a month to get that done. So hit the subscribe button. We love it. Love chatting with you guys and love to hear what you guys have to say. But like I said at the beginning, I do not believe Ohio State will come out undefeated. And here is why. I want to know your guys' thoughts. So this is an interactive video. Please leave us your comments and your thoughts down below. First and foremost, I'm looking at the schedule. And, you know, you're looking at the beginning of the season. Here's the difference between this year and last year. And I said this last year a couple of times. It bothered me last year that Ohio State started out with five home football games to start the season. They basically played for the first month and a half at home without having to hit the road. I knew it was going to kind of come back to, to hit them this year. We had that benefit last year. That's why I thought last year was our year to go undefeated and actually have a shot at the championship. Now, granted, we still had a shot at, at a national championship and we played quite well, but you're not always going to start the season with five home games. That's just unheard of. And some of our tougher games are on the road this year. And that's kind of, that's part of it. But I'm not worried about the first part of the season, including the Notre Dame game. Coming into the fourth game of the season for Notre Dame, I feel like we'll have a couple of weeks to just get the rhythm flowing. I feel like that's where we'll work out the kinks. We're really going to see a run heavy team. I think you're like, like Johnny and Corey have said, you're going to see some passes out to the, to the flat, some check downs, let our skill position players really do work in open, open space before whoever the quarterback is really gets going. Um, we're going to see some stuff working out there. You know, our defense is going to really have some time to get adjusted. I think that they're going to improve just like Corey talked about yesterday. A lot of things are, are going to be working by the time we get to Notre Dame. And while Notre Dame might be a tough game, it's not the one I'm the most worried about. I'm actually worried about the schedule after the bye week. Uh, and I want to know what you guys think, because if you look at the schedule, Ohio State has a bye, like, you know, quite early on, and it's right after Notre Dame, right? So the, the Notre Dame game, you got four straight weeks, and then after Notre Dame is the bye week. And then comes the true, you know, conference play where we're getting into the nitty gritty. And uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that a couple of y'all had for us before. First and foremost, who do I think is the biggest trap game? Again, an interactive conversation here. So please leave some comments what you guys think. But for me, I'm going to say the biggest trap game is Minnesota. Here's why. Minnesota has come off two nine-win seasons, okay? Two of them in a row. They're flowing. Everybody kind of overlooks them because... Over in the West, we've got well, we've got Wisconsin, we've got Iowa. They kind of run the con or the division, but Minnesota kind of just takes a back seat. Minnesota is still a tough team. I mean, they're a, they're a tough program, and we get them right before Michigan. All right, I, I'm a little worried about that. Not just because it's right before Michigan. I'm not saying we're going to overlook it, but we're also coming right off of a Michigan State game, which we should win, obviously. But we're coming right off of Michigan State, and we're playing Minnesota. That game concerns me. Do I think we're going to lose? No. I think that game we will win um, and we should win, in my opinion. I just hope we don't treat it as an overlook, an oversight, because I think at that point, Minnesota could either be one of two ways. It could be fighting for, you know, being the top of their division. This could be a huge, you know, win to capitalize on their season, or they could have taken a couple of losses by then already because they, they have a tough schedule too. And a couple of those games where it's going to be like they're going to be underdogs in a couple of those ones. Um, but if they come out on top, they might have some momentum rolling. 
Ohio State. They're facing them near the end of the year. They're catching Ohio State right after Michigan State, right before Michigan. Could be a trap game for them, and I'm a little concerned. I want to know what you guys have to think. The opponent who is supposed to be good, but we blow out. This is another question about the schedule. I'm t- like, this is the one I keep keep thinking about. Notre Dame. I actually believe by the Notre Dame game, we act, we will come out on top by a large margin. And everyone's going to say, no. Nah. Like, I, at first, I was a little concerned about Notre Dame. I've talked about it before. I was like, man, that might be the trap game. I don't think it's going to be. I think by the time we have three weeks down, three games flowing and everything, it's going to be our first true test, quote unquote. They're going to come out for revenge, but I think we'll elevate our game. I think the leaders on Ohio State will elevate their game going into South Bend, and I do think that we can blow them out. By blowout, I mean two two touchdowns or more is what I'm expecting to see from the Buckeyes going into the Notre Dame game at the end of September. You know, it's a night game. It's in South Bend. Crazy things can happen. It's football. This is, you know, you never know. If there's injuries that come about, like things that happen in the first three weeks, but assuming that we work out the kinks like we always do, I think that Notre Dame game might actually be a two score or more uh, win for the Buckeyes as they get in there and they're ready to rock and roll because that's going to be where they really start to kick off their season right before the bye week. And I think Ohio State's going to be looking forward to that bye. They're going to give it everything they've got because they know they've got a week to rest and recover before they get into the gauntlet of the season. What do you guys think? Next question comes up. Curious what you guys think on this one. Place you hope isn't a road night game. Man. I'm going to tell maybe you guys will agree, maybe you won't, but I'm talking Wisconsin. Okay. So we catch Wisconsin the week after Penn State. Okay. The week after Penn State and the week before Rutgers. So we're coming off an emotional game. And then the next week we go into a, a dud essentially with Rutgers. Wisconsin's on the road. I do not want that to be a night game. It might benefit us for extra rest coming off of a Penn State game at home, but. I don't want Wisconsin to be a night game on the road because it can get wild there. Plus, not to mention, it's going to be cold. I mean, that's at the end of October. It's probably going to be a little chilly. This is when the Big Ten football really kicks in. The toughness has to kick in because it starts to get cold. I'm hoping that's not a night game. It's going to be tough either way. That's People would say, like, maybe that's the trap game, right? Because you're getting ready for Rutgers the next week, and you just got off an emotional game against Penn State. And, uh, man... That's 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 tough. I do not want to see Wisconsin on the road in the evening right after a, a Penn State game. Again, we don't get a bye anymore right after that Notre Dame game. I mean, if you guys haven't checked the schedule right after Notre Dame, it goes Maryland, Purdue, Penn State, Wisconsin, Rutgers, Michigan State, Minnesota and Michigan. I mean, if you really look at that schedule and think that it's going to be just a walkthrough with a lot of these games coming on the road too, Wisconsin, Michigan being on the road, you know, like those are games that are going to be tough. Notre Dame, obviously on the road, I think we beat them by double digits, but again, it's anything can happen at that point. A lot of these games are going to be tough ones. Even Penn State at home, we've proven that we're not always the best home team. You know what I mean? So hopefully we come out there ready to rock and roll. And there's some tough, tough games coming this season. Um, I could see Ohio State losing one or two. And I actually, I and that's not Michigan. Uh, tough games that are toss-ups for me are specifically um, going to be Penn State and or Wisconsin. I could see one of those games, if not both, being a struggle. Um, I think we still beat Minnesota, but I think it's a trap game. We got to be careful. Obviously, I think that's. I, I think we beat Notre Dame, and I think we can beat Michigan this year. I think we've got the tools to do. We had the tools to do it last year. I think. I think they're done losing. I think we had the, Michigan had their time. I think we're done with that. So, I mean, I'm looking at Penn State and Wisconsin as tough ones for us on the schedule. And that's no disrespect to the rest of the people on the schedule, but I do think that's going to be some tough ones. I want to know what you guys think. And it's not me being pessimistic. I still think that we can, depending on how the conference shakes out, we can still have a shot at the college football playoff. We can still have a shot at the big 10 championship. I think Ohio state's favorites to win it for a reason. Like, I think we're going to be there. I mean, the favorites that, well, along with Michigan, I mean, two, three, whomever's coaching poll you're looking at, I'm looking forward to seeing what we do. Um, I think we have that. A loss doesn't mean I think the season's over. I think Ohio State fans get spoiled sometimes. We think that we should go undefeated every year. That's not how it works. Uh, But I do see some tough games coming down the pipeline. And um, I want to know what you guys think. This schedule is brutal compared to last year. And especially with the question marks we have. We have a better roster. Our skill position players are just off the charts. Hopefully our O-line and our quarterback play gets dialed in by some of these big games. 
and uh, our defense is playing at an elite level like Corey expects them to be. And I expect them to, you know what I mean? So let us know what you think. Again, hit that subscribe button. Get to the, Help us get to the 6K mark. 6,000 subscribers. We would love to have you guys on here uh, before the Notre Dame, Notre Dame game, and we'll do a giveaway. We appreciate everybody who's tuned in and shown us support as we continue to try to bring you guys free Buckeye content here on the channel. Again, thanks for tuning in in the morning, especially on, on your weekend, and we'll be coming to you next time. God bless, and go Bucks.